Okay, now that we understand uh, multiplying um, the distributive property of multiplication, we can now look at multiplying binomials. And why was it important to understand the distributive property first? Well, when I multiply two binomials, it's important to know that bi means two and the nomials would mean parts. Okay, so when I multiply an exp uh, expression with two terms, so I've got uh, here's two terms, and I multiply it with two other terms, C plus D, it's important that it, to multiply them, I'll have to use brackets. Okay, and you can see that, w that remember what we said, that when I'm multiplying uh, something to a bracket, I distribute it to every term inside the bracket. Now look how interesting this works out, because this time I'm, what, what's in front of the bracket is actually a bracket itself. So this whole bracket gets distributed to C, and the whole bracket gets distributed to D. So I now get this, A plus B times C plus A plus B times D. Pause this if you didn't get it and, and just make sure you understand 100% how I'm actually distributing a whole bracket to every term inside of the other bracket. And it doesn't matter which way around you go, you can distribute this bracket to everything inside that bracket. You can do that as well as I will illustrate here because now I'm distributing from the back. Still, C is multiplying this whole bracket. So I'm going to say A times C plus B times C plus A times D plus B times D. And there we go. Here we multiplied two terms with two terms and we see we end up with four distinct terms. Now, a lot of the times will uh, this is actually this will be very common we will have something like x plus something let's call it x let's use an example x plus 1 and x plus something else or let's go for minus 3 okay and then you'll notice that the middle terms can actually add together so again we distribute this first bracket to each term in the other bracket so we get x plus 1 times x plus x plus 1. And just be very careful. This is now a negative 3, so we are multiplying it with negative 3. Or you could have just made this negative. Okay, and then this would have just been 3. Okay, so in our next step, we are distributing this one. So that's x times x means we've got two factors of x. So x squared plus x times 1 is just x plus and now here, or let me leave out that plus for now, let's first multiply, I've got negative 3 times x, which gives me negative 3x, and then negative 3 times 1 gives me negative 3. Now notice how these two middle terms can add together, okay? They are like terms, this, here we have 1, we own 1x, and here we owe 3x's, so the net effect is that we still owe 2x's. 1 minus 3 gives me negative 2x minus 3. And this is called a trinomial. A trinomial, and you can obviously see why a trinomial has three terms. Okay, let me uh, quickly show you how we can get to a trinomial answer very, very quickly. Okay, so we'll get x plus a value a and x plus a value b. Now multiplying them together, we multiply the first bracket, x plus a, to every term in the second bracket. So x plus a times x and x plus a times b. Then we multiply in the terms again, or the uh, factor I mean. So I get x squared plus ax plus, and here we have bx plus ab. Okay, and now notice how, what this just means here, 
uh, this, these middle two terms I said can add together. How do we add them together? Well, we add the coefficients together. So this would be x squared plus, and, and then we'll add the coefficients together, a plus b, and whatever answer we get, we'll multiply x plus a b. So how do we multiply these two out uh, brackets out very quickly. Well, when you notice that it has this format, in other words, a coefficient in front, uh, uh, sorry, a, a term, a x or a y or whatever, a variable in front plus a constant and a variable plus another constant, then I simply have x squared as my first term. My middle term is an x. The coefficient of this one is the sum of these two, adding those two together. And the last term, which is called the constant term because it doesn't have an x, is the uh, product of these two values. Let's just test that. Okay, here we have that. We had our x term, uh, x squared term I mean. Then we had our x term. The coefficient I said is the sum of the two values. And the two values were... 1 and negative 3, so that gave me negative 2. And then the last term is the product of the two values. So that's plus 1 times negative 3 gives me negative 3. Let me do one more quickly. Okay, so let's say x minus 4 and x minus 3. Okay. This one's answer would be x squared because the x times x gives me x squared. Then the two middle terms would be the sum of these two. So that would be negative 4 and negative 3 would give me negative 7x. And then the last term would be the product of those two. Multiplying them together gives me plus 12. Negative and negative is positive. 4 and 3 is 12. Okay, see how quickly this way is if I just understand that. But again, if you forgot that, just do the long method. You'll get the right answer every time if you do it correctly. Okay, now one more last thing that I would like to show you. And that is, what if I have a um, x plus a squared? What if I have a binomial and the whole binomial has an exponent? Well, remember what that means. That means the whole binomial is multiplying itself. So I have x plus a that is multiplying x plus a. Now again, it's got the same format as up here. The only difference is, up there it's got a bit, the only difference is instead of having a b, we just have another a and we said that this simply simplifies to x uh, not cubed x squared and then in here we add up the two values but this will be a plus a so it will be two a's x and then the last one will be a times b but in this case it's a times a so it would be a squared okay so what do we see this one is the first term is x squared. The middle term, in other words, the coefficient for the x is double this, whatever that is. Okay, And the last term is the square of whatever that is. So I like generalizations. They make it easier for me. But let's do an example. Let's say x plus 7 squared is equal to x plus 7 times x plus 7. Now, if you remember the previous one, this one just says, well, it's um, x squared plus, now I add these two together, gives me 14x, and then in the last term, I just multiply them with each, with them, uh, with each other, and in other words, give me 49, or I could have just used this, okay? It's double this value, so 2 times 7 gives me 14, and 7 squared gives me 49 gives me same answer. So there are two quick cheats to do multiplying binomials very quickly and it's not a cheat, it's 100% legitimate, I just call it a cheat because it saves me time. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. See you in the next one uh, and I hope you enjoy that one too.